Start by opening the Topography Tutorial Drawing. From the Landscape tab, click Fence. Left-click once at the corner of the house. Continue clicking with your left mouse button to define the shape or perimeter of the fence. And right-click to finish. Like other drawing tools, you can click individual points, drag them with your mouse and cursor, or use your arrow keys to nudge the fence points if you'd like. Now, set a split view 2D and 3D side by side, and set a good view of the driveway, both in 2D and 3D. Now, from the landscape tools in the topography tools, choose slope lot section. This allows us to left click and drag, then release to set the direction and the link of the slope. The starting elevation as the elevation of the slope begins at the descent angle is exactly what you think. In this case, it's a five degree slope. You can change the descent angle at any time and it will automatically update in the drawing. Now we will pan toward the back of the drawing. looking at the northeast corner of our property, and we'll add another slope. Again, press the left mouse button and drag and release where you want this slope to end. Now we'll get a better view, so that you can see how those two different slopes look like together. There are two ways to customize the topography as well. Let's take a moment and add a berm to the front yard. Back to our split view and set a view in the southwest corner of the yard in both 2D and 3D. Now choose Topography Line. Click the tool and then choose the draw method. We'll choose an oval from corner. Click and drag out with your button down. Hold the shift key to constrain it to a circle. Click to select the inner circle. Change the topography elevation to two feet and you'll see a raised topography feature in the yard. You can update these values anytime you like and you'll update the drawing. The default ground elevation is zero, so your topography feature's elevations will go up or down from there. 